everybody continue our Parazzi videos that we made. I want to show you how we place an order for a Parazzi. So here I got a book full. These are all my pending guns that are supposed to arrive at some point. So when ordering a Parazzi, a non-engraved in 12 or 20 gauge takes about a year to receive it. An engraved gun, 28 gauge or 410 takes about two years. The delivery times will fluctuate, of course, the amount of orders they have, but for now, these are the delivery times. When placing an order for any of the guns that you see here, I don't get to call them and say, hey, send me a 12 gauge 32 inch. It doesn't work like that. I have to spec out the entire gun. So every one of these guns were actually spec out how exactly I want it built. And when I'm building these things, I have to think of how does Joe like to shoot his gun? How does Mike like his gun? What kind of sport are they shooting? How they're built where do they want the balance so we play around with the builds on them and also they can look cool or look nice um, on these guns it's actually for functionality so here you have a parati order sheet as you can see it details everything from gauge length type of barrels if i want chokes or not size of the ribs size of the chamber size of the bore diameter and then if I want to like monoblock, side ribs, if I'm ventilated or not, I get the type of triggers, if I want to coil, if I want uh, flat springs, if I want it to be selective or not. I can even request the poundage I want those triggers to come in. Then, of course, I have to submit dimensions on the stock that I want the stock to be. And I can tell them what kind of forend I would like. And then I'm going to put here what kind of finish is on the receiver. White meaning, of course, nickel or blue for the black. And I can also right here, if you see uh, right there, it's where I was actually put the engraving pattern. So each pattern has its own number. So on the right hand side of the receiver, left hand side of the receiver, and on the bottom, which engraving options do I want. Here, I'm gonna have what kind of style of grip, pistol grip I would like in the stock. So I got pistol, English. If I want a Monte Carlo, um, the pad thickness, I have to put it in there and the type of wood, the grading of the wood. And here, of course, if I have any extra notes, that's where I'm gonna put it in there. So it's not complicated, but it's also not that simple, simply ordering one. Uh, one of the main things that I focus a lot is on the balance of the gun. The way to accomplish that is actually I play a lot with the rib. Uh, most parati shooters like the feel of a fixed choke gun because parati chokes combined, they're about three ounces. So you have three ounces sitting at the very end of the muzzle, which you can feel it when you're swinging. So there are ways to make a gun feel uh, different. In most guns have a tapered rib. So for that matter, you got one right here that is pretty standard like any other manufacturer. You got a flat rib on top being 11 millimeters here by seven millimeters at the end. So tapered 11 by seven. Some manufacturers use 10 by eight, but tapered nonetheless. Now, if I want to remove a little bit of weight from the barrels and I want to bring the weight of the gun towards the center even more, even though, for example, this is a high tech, so it's the weight's right in the center. If I want to bring even more the weight back, I am going to do an 11 by 7, but I don't want the barrels to be too heavy. So I use the trim line, not for it to look good, but actually to remove a little bit of weight. How much weight does it remove? I couldn't tell you. I can tell you that when you do pick those guns up next side by side, they do feel different. So now you can also use the seven by seven ribs. So they're not tapered anymore. Is you know, use that to remove even more weight because I don't want to pull the weight towards the center. I simply make it even seven by seven. And after that, if I want to remove even more weight, I can do a seven by seven with the tram line. For example, I had a 34 inch high tech SL. 34 inch, you think already it's gonna be a very heavy gun, but it's actually not. It was a high tech SL 34 inch barrels with a seven by seven rib with a tram line. The total weight of the gun was 8.6 pounds. So it's a fairly light gun for a 34 inch. So there are ways I can play around with the balance just by changing the rib. One cool thing here, I talked, to, I talked about this before, what I'm going to show you again is I can make the gun even lighter by asking for a light monoblock. So what they do is they drill out those holes on both sides of the barrel to make the monoblock lighter. If I wanted to increase the weight even more in the middle, I can ask for the monoblock not to be lighter. And you're going to have a, a map, more concentration of weight 
right on the receiver. So that, that's why I play around with the size, the size and width thickness of the rib. And of course, and then you can ask for the height of the rib. You can have two, three, four, five millimeters step rib. You can have adjustable ribs. You can have half an inch high adjustable rib, uh, one inch high. Uh, they have a three, five and eight notches. So each, this, the height of the rib can change. And this I use for flat rib guns. Play around with the thickness of the rib in order to get the balance that I want. So not because the gun weighs 8, 10, 8 pounds, 10 ounces, 8 pounds, 9 ounces means that it feels big and bulky. No, it all, it's all about where the concentration of the weight is and the balance. Um, one last thing is the chokes. Like I said, the chokes add 3 ounces to the end of the muzzle. So people that want to keep that nice light muzzle of a true Parazzi feeling, what we usually do is we'll put thin wall chokes in it. Thin wall chokes won't change the balance of the gun, will not diminish the value of the gun, and will give you the versatility of chokes without giving up the nice swing of a Parazzi.